We're having beans and cornbread for dinner. Beans and ham. I use the great northern, the white beans as we call them. I like all the beans. Greg likes these. So I take a jar of this, put it in the crock pot. Josie likes these. They're, uh, um, Drake thinks he doesn't, but, um, he actually tries to avoid it when I have beans and cornbread. So, he, d he hasn't had them in ever. I put about a half a jar of water to start. Um, and then I take my chives. Love chives. Sprinkle chives. Um, I like these minced onions, even though I'm going to put a real onion. These, I don't know why, but they have, they have so much more flavor. I just have, kind of cover the top. Um, then I take a sprinkle of garlic salt. Not powder, but salt, because then it's salty. And then I sprinkle the top with um, pepper. And I do a little salt, because, well, we already got garlic salt, and we have the ham, which is salty. And here's my cutting block, like if you watched my videos before. I don't cut with a uh, cutting block. I cut with my kitchen um, plate. And I cut with a steak knife instead of a real knife you're supposed to use. Now, um, I'm using this mini Cumberland ham. I use a different brand sometimes, but, um, uh, I didn't eat, they didn't have any small ones yesterday when I went. Um, I cut this skin off or whatever it is. Try not to think about it. Um, if I have a frozen ham, I stick it in frozen. And as it falls, as it cooks, I pull it out and cut the skin off. And um, it does just, just fine. So let me get rid of this and we'll see if Baxter is convinced to pluck it out of the trash for the girls. We've been, see, Macy's already over there trying to figure out her, her um, plan. So I'm just going to cut this up in cubes and I will be back. Okay, nothing fancy about this. You can start this like in the morning before you go to work. Even if it's frozen, the ham is already cooked. So cook it with the onions and the beans. Um, you know, maybe if you can get a knife in it just to to open it up a little bit to give some juice or to give some flavor but then when you come home at five o'clock tear it out cut the ham up and you still it's still it'll still work um i'm gonna move this over here i got my gorilla pod on a two liter um if you can see without me dropping this in the crock pot um and make sure the crock pot's plugged in and turned on. It's still a little um, low on water for my taste because I like the gravy that it makes. So I'm going to take the jar again and get some more water. Um, and then you're kind of rinsing out the jar anyway. Um, and you can reuse the jar. Shake it up a little bit to get, you know, some of the flavor in. I want about maybe that much and I'll just put it all in and um, then let it soak. I, I should have started this, well I mean it's one it's 1.30. Everything's pretty much done except for the onion I'm going to put in. So it's done. It just needs to cook together. Um, so that was quick. I've been doing laundry. I've been changing the bed. Um, Doing videos, doing my closet. I haven't got a shower yet. This is how the day goes. And um, I'm going to make a cake probably in a little bit. And then I'm going to make cornbread. And my secret cook to the cornbread is I put raw sugar. It comes in a two-pound box. 
And you think a two pound box and you look at it and it's not gonna last you very long. It lasts, I should put a date on it. It lasts forever and I use it all the time. So, um, I make it, I put a little sugar in the mix and then I put a little sugar on top and it makes it sweet cornbread. So I'm just cutting up the onion right now. Kind of in a big gloppy pieces. Um, and there you go. One plate, one knife meal, one crock at the end. We're going to put the lid on. We're going to let it cook. And um, turn this around. Easy cleanup. I love these rags. I got them at um, I got them at Goodwill. Or yeah, Goodwill. They would come in a cheap pack for like a dollar. When you this hey hey she just stole onion hey come here hang on no come here come here Maisie Claire Bear give me that come on come on ah dang it she got ham she's not supposed to have ham she is a go put the trash can up she is definitely a scrounge dog um <laughs> she could live in um australia she's a pack animal i call her a dingo this is my dingo and that is it and then i'm gonna make this fun cake or i'm gonna have josie make the fun cake and dinner is going now let me do this I'm going to be back. I want to show you something else I do. Okay, this is our under sink bathroom in our downstairs. Um, this was the kids. And it, you just put it on the toilet and they, they can sit in and they won't fall in. I'm saving it for the grandkids. I am. I am. This is a hair dryer that um, doesn't have a lot of power. But I put it down here because if Emma gets uh, wet or we give her a bath in the winter, this is perfect. I mean, I, I use the other one on her too, but if she's down here, I dry her. And then here's a little basket. It's got um, this old toothbrush holder in it and some toilet cleaner, which I don't use toilet cleaner because I use like something else because um, it, it ruins floors and everything. But this is what I wanted to show you. Well, first off, this, well, there was my hip, is the red carpet square that Skeeter lives on. And he has a vent underneath the sink. And he lays right up against it. And this is where he sleeps in the winter. These are our um, beach towels. We had the beach towels in, um, is it getting that? We had the beach towels in the wander room. And they didn't, it didn't make sense because you had to go tromp in there and tromp out. And this is kind of just wasted space. So I put up the beach towels in here. And then, um, like, in, in the hot and heavy parts of summer, um, they, they barely get washed and get used again. So I just stack them up in the corner of the kitchen and the kids can grab them. But all the kids know where the beach towels are. And some are... One. one is so old. I used to buy, when Drake was little, I used to buy one each year, but this thing is so, but I hate to get rid of it because, I mean, it still works and whatever kid gets it, you know, sorry. <laughs> but we keep it, um, we keep everything and the beach towels just stack up here. Actually, we're missing some because they usually have two stacks, so gosh, I don't know where they are. But anyways, that is our downstairs bathroom cabinet. And there's our beach towels, beach towel collection, and the red carpet square. So that's it. I got to go take a shower. I really need a shower. I think I stink. I know I stink. I got to take a shower. Bye, folks. Okay, while I have the um, camera down here, I'm going to show you my 
favorite drink, actually. Use a fork. Um, peach mango Kool Aid. I put a little smidgen in. And then Cherry 7 Up, but I don't have any cherry. So I'm just going to put 7 Up. And then I'm going to put some cherry juice. Oh gosh, look, a couple cherries fell in there. Oh yeah. Oh, this is, this is to die for. This is my favorite drink, peach mango Kool-Aid. And I, believe me, I am not a Kool-Aid person at all. Um, and this summer, I have drank more Kool-Aid than I think I ever did as a kid. I use a fork to mix it up. Anyway, that is my preferred drink of summer. Isn't that beautiful? Let me get cherries. All right. Put these back. I need to clean the fridge and I need to clean the pantry and I'm gonna go enjoy my Kool-Aid in the tub. Okay, Jen at um, My Housewife Life or Organized Like Jen, she gets those Lush things that from Lush, those bath bombs. And I got this one at Kroger. It's a stress relief, uh, lavender aromatherapy, um, purple. And it was like a dollar something and I'm gonna try it and I wanted to show you because I can show you. Woo look at it big it's like an alpha seltzer. Alpha seltzer. I'm gonna hold on to the camera because I don't want to lose it. Oh it's gone already. Look at that. Oh it feels like an alpha seltzer. So I'm going to take me a bath. Let's see where it's at. There it's on. Yep. That was quick. She's gone. I'm going to let you know. I got my drink up here. Yep, yep, yep. So, I'll let you know how it goes. Thanks for watching. I won't show you me in the tub. I know. Oh, but Macy wants to get in the tub. She's my assistant, of course. She knows everything about me. Goodbye. Okay, I'm going to make the cornbread. I just use Jiffy because it's the best. Um, I've tried other cornmeals and stuff, and this is just so, so much easier. I mean, just, it is. So I put two of these in, and it calls for a third cup of milk and one egg each. So I just double it and I'm going to add some sugar and I was going to tell you about the beans. I buy the jar because I would never, like last night we knew we were going to do beans but I just am not, I was never, um, um, whatever to, to, you know, to, um, what am I trying to say? To soak my beans. I just, it was never taught that way. My mom didn't do that, so I just don't. Here's the sugar in the raw. I just sprinkle some in, and then I put some on top, so. The eggs and I'll be back. I'll just keep talking. Well, we went down to Staples, um, because they had composition notebooks for 10 cents. So I go because I want to buy, um, I wanted to buy like 20 of them. You get down there and it is buy three for 10 cents. And um, 
then, the, then from then on it was a dollar if you bought five dollars worth of stuff to start with bull crap bull crap I, I did end up spending five dollars but I wanted to buy um, like I said I wanted to buy a bunch of them because I used them and I just think it was bull crap and I got shell in my so tomorrow when they or not tomorrow but the 18th when they start one cent notebooks that are 50 cents now I was going to go just stock up on them just because and I'm not even wasting the trip I'm actually not even going to waste the time to look it up online because I'm pretty just perturbed about it the whole thing you know don't come on and say 10 cent things and and then then only mean um, you know the first three or whatever did I forget something in this? milk, egg, and that's it I guess that can't be it no, well, yeah, it is. Huh. Um, anyways, I'm perturbed. Um, this feels awful thick. Awful thick and sticky. And my rule to cooking, if it's too dry, add more liquid. If it's too wet, add more dry. Air. And then I pour it in my Pampered Chef crock, which I love. They don't look very fancy, but they're awesome. Oh, and there's some powder. And I love to taste this raw. I know you're not supposed to eat. I don't care. I'm a child of the 80s. I grew up eating the... I grew up eating the cake batter and I'm still alive. And then I sprinkle sugar on it and I stick it in the oven. And that's not the easiest dinner fastest dinner that's it Macy's at the door I'm going to eat some batter mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. another one bowl one measuring cup one kind of fork well I did use a spoon to get the egg out the shell out kind of thing. Thanks. Say thanks, Baxter. Baxter Bean. Baxter. Say hi to the camera. Say oh hi. Kisses. Kitty kisses. And there is Mr. Claire Bear. He wants to come in. He wants to go out. Go go get it over with Macy you have kisses for the camera Mace Emma do you have kisses for the camera oh. I know what we'll do hang on a minute